Okay, so this is uh, registry papers, what it means and what they're talking about. So with miniature horses and Shetland ponies, they go by height in their registering. Um, so this is Buck-On's Black Leather. He's one of my stallions. Boone's Little Buckaroo was very nice. And his Sire Little King's Buck on Broadway. Very, very nice. It's his pedigree there. Uh, so, basically, this says permanent certificate of registration because before this, um, it's a temporary certificate of registration. And until they turn the age of three, you cannot get a permanent certificate of registration because, uh, once they're three, you have to um, tell them how what the height is, and if they go over that height, then they can't be registered. So that's why they get a temporary certificate of registration. But he is uh, six now, so over three, and that's his height, uh, and so he got a permanent certificate of registration because he was under it, so he was allowed. Um, and... Here is, if I could get it, um, here's the back of it, it's the back of the registration paper. That's what the back looks like. And that is the front. And actually, in uh, these, this American Horse Registry place, uh, you get pictures, too. And uh, Arabians and all kinds of others, you don't get that. So, uh, yeah, you get photos on theirs. That would be the back. And uh, this is the temporary certificate of registration. That's what that looks like. And I'm sure you want to see what the back of it looks like as well. So... Here it is, Buck on Black Leather, same guy, it's just temporary because he was under the age of three. His picture of him as a colt, a little stamp, and that's what the temporary certificate of registration looks like. That was for a miniature horse. That is Buck on's Black Leather by Boone's Little Buckaroo and Little King's Buck on Broadway. Get some better pictures of him sometime. He looks better now. He got a shave and a bridal path. Uh, and now this is Eleron Prima Donna. He has a good percentage of uh, straight Egyptian pedigree. She's a purebred Arabian. This is her pedigree. And uh, she got some chemo sabi in there too. So, I mean, oh no, wait, this isn't the one with it. But um, we got the minster lines and chemo sabi lines. But this isn't one of them. I don't think, no. No, but she does got a Imper uh, Imperial Imdale. That's a, that's a very nice one right there. Oh, and um, Port Basque and Basque is very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, and uh, he, Oh, and so what does these little plus marks mean? That means uh, national champion, and this means double national champion. Or triple or quadruple or however many. See? Double national champion, double national champion, just national champion. Which he actually got more credentials, but that's just the only stuff that they put on there. He got a lot more credentials. He is, you should look him up on allbreedpedigree.com. He is uh, in a few of my pedigree lines. Imperial Imdale, he's very nice. Um, yeah, so this mare's name is Eleron Prima Donna. That's what a... Uh, Uh, an Arabian registry paper looks like. And here's the back of it. That'll have its markings on it. Uh, 